Hello everyone, this is Dragonlord, and welcome to another episode of Household Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today it is episode 20, and we are going to be completing the Clock Tower with the Clock Tower Courtyard, and of course the bridge connecting the Court Tower and the Clock Tower together. And so, last episode, if you did not watch it, well, it was another Megasode we did all of these steps to build the Clock Tower, and of course, if you have not watched that, there will be a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. And so, the Clock Tower Courtyard is probably one of my favourite locations in Hogwarts. I just find it so beautiful, I just love the way how it's kind of semi-crumbling and falling into ruin. It's the atmosphere of the courtyard which is absolutely awesome and I absolutely love it. And so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. But first, before we do the clock tower courtyard, we first need to build this bridge between the quad tower and the clock tower. And so the first thing we are going to do is just come along to this line at the top and just come all the way across until we do come in line with the clock tower just there. And then come down eight blocks from this line, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then all you're going to do is fill in this corner from here, so slash fill, one, two, three, those coordinates there, and then these coordinates right down here as well. And of course, fill that in with cut sandstone, just like so. And then of course, just fill in these gaps right there and then come down from this block right here and come down all the way until we do come back down to right here and then i guess we can just go ahead and extend the roof into this gap right here and so what we are going to do is place a block right there and then go ahead and grab yourselves some cut sandstone slabs and some smooth sandstone stairs and what we are going to do is place a sandstone stair there and then a slab right here and then leave one block and then smash out these three blocks right here and let's place slabs in their place and then repeat the same thing on the other side just like this and actually create this archway all the way across and then all we're going to do is repeat the same thing on the other side so once again the line going across down here all the way to the end just there and then coming down eight more blocks so one two three four five six seven eight just like that and then once again all we are going to do is use our full command to fill in between this block and this block right here with cut sandstone just like this and then of course just filling out these gaps right here and then once again we're going to come down all the way down down to here and then just fill in this gap right here and then once again add on the archway pattern which is going to be stair here slab right here smash out these three blocks here and place slabs in their place and then a stair right here a slab and then a stair just like that and that is going to be the archway pattern for this area and then all we're going to do is just repeat this pattern all the way along until we do cover this entire area. So just the exact same pattern going along all the way across to here. It should be very simple. It's just the exact same thing all the way across to finish off this archway. And there we go. That will just go in just like that. Very simple. The exact same pattern going all the way along. And then all we're going to do is just add in some windows. And so these windows are going to be the exact same design as these windows right here. So there will be one window right here, one window right here, and then one window right here. Of course, absolutely identical. So with the sandstone stairs to arch them off and then with the beam of sandstone slabs going across. And of course the black stained glass in behind, just like that. Now let's do this one more time. So we have the sandstone stairs here and then the beam going across. And then of course the black stained glass in behind and i do apologize if you can hear my keyboard in the background i do have a new keyboard since i just got a pc so yeah it's gonna be a bit loud it's it's a bit annoying so i might try and get a new one that's a bit quieter and also on that note of getting new stuff is we did just get monetized on youtube which is absolutely awesome it does mean there will be some adverts in your videos from now on but it does help support the, support the channel and it allows me to obviously make money off my videos and I can use that money to reinvest time and put more quality and have a higher quality uploads, which I hope you guys will appreciate. And I promise I will make sure all the, all the adverts are skippable and that they do not really disrupt the, um, the flow of the episode. I will mainly place them in areas, for, for example, when, I'm like, when I say, just go ahead and flip this onto the other side or just before a time lapse or just after one. It doesn't really, I won't put them like halfway through a step, it'll be like in between steps. So I hope that won't affect your viewing experience too much. But of course it does affect it a bit, but it does also allow me to of course put more time into my episodes. And so after this, all we are going to do is just go ahead and add on a roof. Very simple, just going up with some stairs 
going all the way up in a very simple design, just a normal, normal staircase until we do come to the center, which is right here. And once again, all we are going to do is just place on some slabs going all the way across, just like that. And of course, the exact same thing on this side as well. And there we go, a very simple design, just like that, of this bridge going across from the hospital wing all the way into the clock tower. And then that leads us on very nicely to the clock tower courtyard. And so the first thing we are going to do, well, we do need to add a floor for our courtyard as usual. And our courtyard floor is actually going to be the block of our foundations, which is these blocks right here. Of course, ignore the stone, this just one block below the foundations. And so come to our foundations, come to this block right here and do slash fill, take these here coordinates right here and then come across all the way to this other corner right here and then get those coordinates right there and fill that in with cobblestone and replace and then air. And basically what that will do is it'll replace all the air blocks with cobblestone and it will leave our foundation blocks intact and that will look just like so. And then very simply, all we're doing to do is just add on the repeating pattern of the archways that go around the entire courtyard. And so for our courtyard design, all we are going to do is come to this block right here and build up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then come across three blocks along here. So one, two, three, and then six blocks up on this block right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like so. And then on top, what we are going to do is just place a line of upside down sandstone stairs, just like that. And then one here, just there, with a line of sandstone walls going up just there. We would normally place one right here. However, this is of course, it's going to be in the corner and therefore we cannot have one right there. And then what we're going to do is just add in our archway, which is going to be very similar to the design of the Transfiguration Courtyard ones. And so just two upside down stairs just there, with a cut sandstone slab in the middle with a line of sandstone walls going up just like so. And then what we are going to do is just repeat these all the way around the entire courtyard. And so we are going to have another one right here. So leave a three block gap just there and then come up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then just wrap our sandstone stairs all the way around just like that. And then a sandstone stair right there. And then of course our walls going all the way up. And then of course our archway just there with our upside down sandstone stairs with our cut sandstone slab in the middle with our line of cut sandstone walls going up just like that. And then let's repeat this one more time and then it'll just be up to you guys to repeat this all the way around. And so once again, come across three more blocks and then come up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just continue our sandstone stairs wrapping around just like that. A sandstone stair right here and then our sandstone walls going all the way up just like that. And then our sandstone stairs one and then two just like that. And then our cut sandstone slab in the middle with our line of sandstone walls just going up all the way up to the top just right there. And so all we are going to do is just repeat this all the way around. And so the three block gap right there, another one right here, another one right here, another one right here, and then another one in the corner. Of course, this corner is going to be identical to this corner right here, and another one right here. Hopefully all of these should line up very nicely. And if they don't, don't worry about it too much. You can either go back and correct it since obviously this courtyard is not connected to anything. So you could just go ahead and go back and just fix the foundations. I'll put a picture on the screen right now. You can go ahead and pause the video or you can just leave it. It should be okay. And then let's go ahead and one here, three blocks along, another one, three blocks along. And then of course this corner is going to fit in school to that corner and that corner over there. And of course, just flip the same thing onto the other side with the exact same pattern going all the way around with a three block gap in between each of our archways. Of course, this corner, as usual, identical to the other ones. And of course, just leave this one blank since this will be a walkway to our covered bridge, which is going to be over to this way, which we might do in a later episode of the tutorial. However, it is going to require quite a bit more landscaping, so I might add it as an optional thing at the end. But anyway, let's go ahead and just add on all of these arches. And there we go, that will go on just like so. And then all we're doing to do is just add on the designs around the back of the courtyard. And so these are going to be very simple as these ones, just a bit taller. And so what we are going to do is come in line with this block and come along to this foundation edge right here. Instead of six blocks, we're going to come up nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that come across three blocks just there and then once again nine blocks up just like so and then fill in the top three layers of blocks 
just like that. And then grab yourself a layer of cobblestone slabs and layer them on the top just like so and once again we can add in our design of our archways so once again sandstone stairs there with the sandstone wall up and then our sandstone slabs just right here and that is going to be very simple just like this and basically all we need to do is just once again is repeat this all the way around the entire courtyard and so let's build it one more time and then you guys can go ahead and do it for yourself and so once again three blocks across and then the nine blocks all the way up just like that and then once again, cap off the top three layers and then place on some cobblestone slabs on the top. And then once again, create the archway design absolutely identical to the other ones we have just built. And of course, these go ahead and wrap around in the exact same fashion. Just like that, just come across, just come up with two blocks just there. And if you have done it right like mine, they should fit nice and snug in each of the corners. And then just go ahead and come across all the way across until we do come to the end of this side right here just like that just there and of course right here there will be the tower which will interrupt our archway but that we can deal with that once it comes to that then once again the same thing on this side and if you have done it right they should all be in line with our previous layer just there and once again leave a gap for our doorway and just continue these all the way around of course completely symmetrical and then just go ahead and wrap all the way around just like so And there we go. Of course, absolutely identical. And one thing I did forget to mention is we do have these lovely walls going the way around. And so just come to your foundation level and just build these all the way up to the top, just like that. Going all the way up to the top of the cobblestone, just like so. And so all we need to do is just build these around the entire courtyard. And there we have it, that is the courtyard wrapping all the way around, just like so. This is what it looks like tucked in here, very simple, with the one block extra gap just there. Very, very simple. And then all we need to do very simply is just to add on the design of this archway right here. And so what we are going to do is just place a block right here, a block right here, and very simply, yeah, just go ahead and slope up with our sandstone stairs just going up, just like so. And then with a slab in the middle, just like that and let's go ahead and beam across just there as usual and then let's go ahead and just add an archway just there just like so and then after this what we're going to do is grab ourselves some dark oak stairs and just have these going in just like this on both sides just like that and then with some dark oak slabs in the middle just like so and let's go ahead and just cover these two small turrets in the corners. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just build up 10 more blocks upon our foundation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just like that. Of course, it will interrupt this archway just by a bit, but that is completely fine. Just go ahead and put up 10 blocks on this circular foundation. And of course, this block right there is part of a circle, and that will look just like that. And then all we're going to do is just add on the roof. And so the first thing we are going to do is build up a two by three area right there and then place a block on top just like that. And then behind here, another two by three area, so three blocks there, another layer on top just like that. And then once again, a block on top just there. And then once again, the exact same design, so two by three area with a block on top just like so. But this time, we are going to place a slab on top just there and then place in two blocks behind just like that. And then grab yourself a stone brick wall and place that on top just there and then a dark oak fence on the top just like so and then all we're going to do is put the exact same thing on another corner so once again a two way three area just there and then another two way three area behind that just like that with a block on top and then of course another one just there the block and then a slab on top just like that and then just fill in this gap with two dark oak planks just there and then very simply around the edge just go ahead and wrap around some dark oak slabs just like so. And so that was very simple. All you do need to do now 
is just repeat this onto the other three sides. And that will look just like so. And then all we need to do is just add in some windows. So come along, let's say this block right here, smash in a two by one area just there. And then the same thing on this side right here. And so all we need to do, guess what, is build the exact same thing onto this side as well. And then we can cover the actual decoration and ruins of the courtyard and the foundation. And if you're lucky enough on playing Driver Edition, I will show you how to add in some lovely particle effects and some sound effects to build your fountain. So just go ahead and build this onto the other side over here. And there we go. That was very easy. And there we have the two towers just right there. And already the clock tower looks absolutely stunning. And so all I need to do is make it look old and ruined and falling apart, which is very sad. If you do not want to, you can just go ahead and keep this like this. But in this tutorial, we are going to be making this very nice and ruined. And so the first thing I'm going to do is add on a roof. And I guess when the Hogwarts was first built, the roof had gone on the entire way around. However, unfortunately it has fallen down and only goes from here, wraps around here, and then ends right here. So if you don't want to build it, you can just go ahead and build this all the way around. But in the model, it is only here. And so what we are going to do is basically just come upgrading of one slab, just like that, and basically, yeah, very simply, just wrap this all the way around. It's very simple, a very simple roof design, just a half gradient using slabs, just like so. You may have to go ahead and, and replace some of these blocks right here. But basically, it just wraps around just like any other roof would do until you do come across to this area right here. The exact same thing with this layer right there. And that will just go ahead and come to the end right here and just make it look like it's actually fallen down let's go ahead and make it a bit a bit of a sag at the end just like this i guess something like that and then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this onto this side and wrap this around all the way around and let's just go to this one right here rather than that one right there so once again the half slab gradient as usual just like that and then just go ahead and wrap the roof all the way around the courtyard just like so and so once again we can go ahead and make the roof kind of sag a bit down just to look a bit a bit ruined and sad and that will look just like so and so it is now time for the ruining so yeah grab yourselves some oak leaves and some vines just to make it look very very nice and ruined and actually grab yourselves some mossy cobblestone of course this is still not an infinite supply in survival mode so you didn't have to use lots of it. And if you're on creative mode, I would recommend doing such game rule, random tick speed, and then setting that to zero. And basically that will mean nothing will grow. Basically it means tick speed is zero, obviously. Um, it means no grass will grow. Um, basically means if you place a vine right there, it will stay there, it will never continue growing. And so it's very easy and very nice. Of course, leaves will no longer despawn. And it just, it's just very good for creative worlds. And so, the first thing we are going to do is, yeah, we're just going to remove this entrance, that archway right there. Very simple. It is now gone. And actually, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone slabs as well, just to create some shape. And so what we're going to do is just remove two blocks just there. And basically, I mean, you can go about this however way you want, but we're just basically just going to go ahead and sort of smash up our courtyard, which we've built so far. Just make it look quite old and ruined and yeah there's really no way to go about this definitely of course i'm going to be ruining it in a sort of similar way to how it's done in the model so that, for example this one here is just completely removed and then on this side this kind of entire wall section is just kind of gone it's just kind of crumbled away and fallen away into the cliffs below and so you can go ahead and sort of round that off i guess make it a bit more jaggedy and you can also use some sandstone stairs to kind of yeah create some shape to it you can really go about this however you want but i don't know something like that would look quite cool just like so so this of course has just crumbled away and fallen down at some point in hogwarts a thousand years of life and that would just go just there and i guess you just go ahead and remove the occasional block along here really it doesn't matter and then all we need to do is just add in a ton of leaves let's just go ahead and just add these all the way along so we can do a, a patch of leaves growing down here, just like that. So for example, I don't know, something like that. It's not an exact science, of course. It's really just wherever you feel it should go. I guess we can have another one coming down from here, just like so. And of course you can utilize vines coming down and growing all the way over the courtyard. So you can go under here as well, 
just like that. And then some growing across here with some vines on, just like so. And actually, it's a bit of a shout to add into mossy cobblestone all the way around the edge, basically wherever you really want. But it does add that little bit of detail and it does look very nice. Of course, I'm just placing this absolutely randomly, not really noticing where it goes, just something like that. Very, very simple. And so let's go ahead and add on some more leaves. Let's go ahead and add some coming down from this ruined bit, just like that, with some lovely vines coming down just there. And let's add another one along here. Uh, let's go ahead and make these sort of can't come together down here, just like that. And then, of course, just spam the vines really wherever you want. It really does not matter. They can go absolutely wherever. And then have some vines going across the front and face of the clock tower. And of course, if you do not like the ruined look, well, you can just keep it very nice and neat. But I think the ruined look kind of adds to the vibe and the atmosphere of the courtyard. And I personally love it. And that's one of the reasons why this courtyard is one of my favourite places. Just They add just so much atmosphere and it just looks... I absolutely love it. But, of course... It's personal preference, you do not have to love it if you don't like it. So, yeah, you can do whatever you really want. But anyway, that is that area done. Uh, we can add another clump of leaves growing down from this one as well. Of course, it's just, I'm just placing these ra completely randomly. Uh, another one right here, coming down, I guess. Maybe smash that and place a vine in it, just like that. And then just for good luck, let's place another one growing down from here. Just like so very simple and it does look very very much more ruined which is which was what we were meant to do so that is very very good and then all we're now going to do is just add on the fountain in the middle and so come to the middle which is going to be this archway right here and then following this line until we do get to the center which is, which is right here just like that and so what we are going to do is go ahead and get ourselves some andesite stairs and around this center block just go ahead and place in a a circle just like that and then in the middle place in a cobblestone wall just there then grab yourself a water bucket and very simply just fill oh no and then very simply just go ahead and fill out this entire area oh my gosh placing filling in stairs is an absolute pain just like that and then what we are going to do is just build up the design of this area and so grab yourself some andesite walls once again and some stone stairs and then actually some chiseled stone bricks so first thing to do, just place in the chiseled stone bricks in each of the four diagonal corners, just right there. And actually create yourself some stone, smooth stone slabs just there. And then just build up four blocks on each of the corners of this fountain on these three sides right here. And then only build three on that side there, since this side has, of course, crumbled away. And then place those there with a slab just there, and then an upside down stair right there. And then the exact same thing on this side, so a stair there. Of course, this stair is going to be sort of facing the wrong direction, but I say it kind of adds to the ruined vibe, and those will go on just like that, and just add in a slab there. Of course, this area is very crumbled, which is why this fountain has broken. And then just add some decoration, you can go ahead and grab some stone buttons, and just go ahead and place them all the way around, just like that. And then, have yourself some cobblestone walls, and place them on all four sides. Of course, these are meant to be some statues of some crows, I believe, eating snakes, which I did attempt in my own Hogwarts map, and it just looked quite nice. However, in Vanilla Minecraft, this is about as close as we can get. And there we go. That is the courtyard now basically done. And then, basically now, if you are on Java Edition, this is going to be something you are going to want so much. The first thing you're going to do is give yourself a command block, doing slash give, at a command block it should disappear and that will give you a command block very nice and easily and so we're going to place our command blocks beneath our fountain so just smash this block and come down into the depths of the area and so let's go ahead and basically just come to the block that is under the wall so that's going to be this block right here of course don't break it otherwise water oh no that's just going to go ahead and drain all the grass anyway let's go ahead and place a command block right under there so of course this block is going to be the one below the block beneath our center of the fountain and okay some more water's going down and basically all we are going to do is right click it to open it up of course you cannot do this on survival minecraft and change this impulse to repeat and then change this to always active and that means this command block will be repeating the same command in it 50 times a second and so the command we're going to do i will leave these in the description as well is type in slash particle that's that and then use rain 
just like that. So this will create the rain particle of the fountain. And then we need to specify where this will be. And of course, we are going to make that two blocks above where our command block is right now, since it's two blocks below the fountain. So a squiggle, a squiggle two, and then a squiggle. And then we need to specify how the particles are going to work. So 0 0.01 as our first number, one as another number, and then 0 0.01 as our another number. Let's specify how wide the fountain is going to be. It's going to be one block high and then a tenth of a block wide, I think. And then after this, 0 0.05. I have no idea what this number was. I really just, I just hope experimented with numbers until I got it. And then 150. And hopefully if we press done, it will clog the chat basically. It's going to clog your chat. Basically, there we go. We have some lovely particles just there. And of course, if you want to turn it off, just go ahead and come down here and press this to needs redstone and it will just go ahead and turn off. But who wants to turn off fountain? We want this to be on the whole time. So go ahead and switch that to always active and simply run the command and do slash game rule, command block output and set that to false. And as you can see, it no longer spans the chat. For example, if you just had something in there, it will no longer get lost. And therefore we have a lovely, nice fountain, but that is not all. Below this, I place another command block right there. And basically this one, it's going to be the one creating the sound and this will create a lovely rain sound effect very close to the fountain and so once again set this to repeat and then set this to always active and so what we're going to type in is slash play sound and then minecraft colon weather and then rain just like that and then we want this to be an ambient sound so of course select ambient just there and we want it to play to at a and then where do we want this sound to actually occur which of course is where the fountain is. So three blocks above where this block is. So once again, a squiggle, a squiggle, and then three, and then another squiggle. And that of course is where our fountain is going to be. And then all we need to change is the volume. And basically the louder this is, the further away you're going to hear it. And since it's a fountain, I'm gonna say it's quite quiet. So I'm gonna do 0.2, Press done. And as you can see, we can hear the fountain. Of course, we move away, it gets quieter, and it does add a very nice atmosphere to our courtyard. And then we can go ahead and simply just fill that in just there. Of course, the sound can be a bit annoying, so you can go ahead and turn that off by setting the command block to needs redstone. But I kind of like it, and of course, it's not too loud since we did set it to 0 0.2 volume, so we can't actually hear it from over here, which I think is very neat. But just look how stunning this looks! It looks absolutely beautiful, and I hope you guys can see why this is probably one of my favorite locations in Hogwarts in this beautiful courtyard looking up at the clock tower right there and so i would like to thank you guys very much for watching i did have so much fun building this and next episode we will start the grand staircase tower which is going to be very very exciting of course make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy this video and if you're not subscribed make sure to press subscribe you would really appreciate it we just we did just pass 3,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane i would love to hit 5,000 by the end of the year and so that's all from me i'll see you guys in the next episode